Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the esteemed FaceTime with Leaders, an initiative by World Development Corporation. I'm Sunny Pancholi, anchor at World Development Corporation. FaceTime with Leaders is a platform for industry titans to share their experiences, thoughts, ideas, and best practices in order to inspire one another and future leaders. In a nutshell, we attempt to encapsulate the multi-decadal learnings acquired by these industry leaders. We also hope that by conducting these FaceTime with Leaders interviews, we can bring together a global community of eminent personalities. By bringing together such visionaries on one platform, we hope to play a part in inspiring the lives of other leaders. Great learnings from great leaders undoubtedly assist everyone by identifying, nurturing, and using the trade secrets that are proven success formulas for many. And this is what we aim for with this sessions by making them a gathering of industry stalwarts and a knowledge sharing community. We have one such industry titan on FaceTime with leaders with us today, Mr. Venkateshwara Rao Gidu. He has over three decades of experience in public transport management and has held various positions in the Andhra Pradesh State Road Transport Corporation, including Executive Director, Chief Controller of Stores, Regional Manager and Controller of Stores. In his current role as Executive Director at APSRTC, he oversees the daily operations of the corporation, managing resources and ensuring profitability. Welcome to FaceTime with Leaders. We appreciate your willingness to share your knowledge and engage in this conversation. Good morning, Mr. Sunny. So to begin with, uh, Mr. Venkateshwara, could you sum up your career journey for our viewers, please? Yeah, sure. I joined uh, Andhra Pradesh State Road Transport Corporation in the year 1986. I'm a mechanical engineering graduate. And uh, soon after my graduation, uh, I got this opportunity to serve this uh, great corporation. Uh, I would like to uh, tell the viewers that this corporation uh, has got the Guinness Book of World Records for maintaining the highest uh, number of fleet of above 20,000 buses uh, at a time. So this corporation has got a long legacy of uh, more than seven decades and uh, it serves the public by providing the most economic and uh, safe transport. So in 1986, as a depot manager, I started my career and worked at uh, four or five different depots. Uh, a depot consists of about a 70 to 80 buses and most of them, they operate to rural sector. The common man has got the facility to travel to fulfill his uh, business or personal uh, goals. So uh, uh, this uh, experience gave me a lot of uh, fundamental knowledge about how to manage any business. Because in this nation, every unit will have a profit and loss account. So every month we will uh, calculate uh, whether we are earning any profits or we are losing. So the controlling of the resources, controlling of the finances and taking operational decisions, it's really a, a good task to learn the basics of uh, management as a depot manager. So further, after uh, a decade of uh, experience with uh, this corporation, I am promoted as a senior scale officer and I worked as a controller of stores. So this job is uh, slightly different from the previous job. This stores management deals with the procurement and distribution of uh, automobile components. The monthly worth of the components will be around two to three crores of rupees and automobile components uh, to name a few are fuel and uh, uh, lubricants and tires and all those uh, components. We have to ensure good quality and also we have to ensure uninterrupted uh, supply of the space for the running of the buses. So during that period, I got an opportunity to work at ASRTU, Association of State Road Transport Undertaking situated at New Delhi. So this is the apex body for all the state transport uh, units. There are about 60 state transport uh, organization in this country. So this apex body decides major transport policies and decides the major contracts for supply of automobile components 
and also it organizes training on various aspects to the executives of the state transport uh, undertakings and i also have the opportunity to do a certification in supply chain management with uh, sap india so that gave altogether a different perspective for me i worked as a functional consultant uh, for about an year on foreign terms and uh, i learned that uh, technology should be the forerunner of uh, any industry so after uh, my brief uh, term with uh, outside firm again i joined this uh, organization and i am promoted as a district uh, manager so as a district manager i worked about uh, three districts for about a decade and right now i am an executive director since 19 2019 sorry 2019 and an executive director is responsible for the profitability of about 50 depots so it's a really big task and my annual uh, revenue is uh, 2000 crore rupees so i have to take so many uh, strategic decisions to optimize the resources and also to contain the losses because right now transport sector is reeling under uh, severe losses so this uh, three decades of experience with uh, aps rtc gave me fundamentals of management and also a vision and how to lead a team of uh, a huge team of uh, employees because uh, right now in my zone about 10000 employees are working and really i am very proud of this organization to give me all these inputs thank you Mr Venkateshwara thank you for the excellent start to this interview it's an honor to interact with someone who exudes such a strong corporate governance personality so continuing our conversation we would like to know which is your biggest professional achievement yeah uh, really i have a couple of uh, achievements to share with you in the year 2010 i am promoted as a district manager of vijayanagaram district of andhra pradesh so here prior to my uh, uh, appointment there in 2009 the district transport operations they, they were incurring a huge losses about uh, 32 crores loss per annum it's a huge burden on the corporation so in the very first year it's a challenge for me so i believe in uh, team activity so i took everybody into confidence my employees and also business partners because aps rtc will operate part of the fleet provided by the private bus operators so they are our business partners so i had series of meetings with uh, employees and also business partners and uh, everybody believed that it's possible to reduce the losses and improve the operations so we first improved the operations and public got confident about our services reliability of the services that resulted in better revenues that resulted in uh, reduction in losses so by the end of the first year in 2010 i could reduce the losses by 25% so from 32 crores the losses have come down to about uh, 28 crores so the top management uh, was so happy that uh, i was uh, happily rewarded for my efforts and uh, on another occasion in the uh, second assignment uh, you know that uh, safety is a concern of the society safety on the roads so there is a parameter for uh, accident rates and we have taken it as a challenge to reduce the road accidents caused by our vehicles so at every depot we organized training activity with the operating crew we have taken care of the vehicles and also we have educated the various sectors of this uh, organization so as a result uh, we could end up with uh, a minimum of uh, six accidents per 10 lakh kilometers of uh, operation this is a really a good record uh, even at all india level also so this is also another occasion where uh, i got the appreciation of the management So these are the two occasions I would like to share with you. Quite interesting. So that leads us to my next question. 
what qualities according to you are indispensable for a professional regardless of his or her industry field area of expertise etc yeah it's a really good question i have learned out of my experience that one individual whether he is a very uh, efficient knowledgeable and whatever is are his personal qualities he cannot do any miracles on his own he needs a good team to carry out the instructions and also to reach the targets so wherever i got my uh, good performance it is due to the team work so you have to trust your uh, subordinates you have you should have a good career relation with uh, the peers and also uh, the boss should have a faith on you so if all the three links are uh, in order then uh, definitely it is possible to get good results so this is one managerial principle which uh, one should never forget and uh, second thing is that there is a proverb to err is human so while doing any business there will be some inverted tent uh, uh, errors happening committed by the subordinates or by the colleagues. one should have a large heart to uh, just let it go and also uh, see if they are in deep trouble you have to come for the rescue then uh, definitely they will have a uh, regard for you and uh, they will definitely uh, do with a better zeal and uh, enthusiasm so these two qualities a team building uh, nature and also uh, taking that uh, uh, mistakes or errors or whatever it is they are part of the game so if uh, we can balance these uh, things definitely uh, who can uh, do a good uh, we can give good performance absolutely mr venkateshwara so now that we have discussed your career journey your professional pursuits roles and responsibilities let's move on to the another subject uh, which is esg and corporate governance so here is my question to you you have handled the role of executive director so how did you feel the need for widening your work purview into esg yeah because uh, every industry or every corporation is a part of the society so this society will uh, have some uh, negative impacts if we start exploiting the resources for example uh, transport sector pollution is one major factor uh, for transport sector though transportation is a basic necessity vehicles pollute a lot so uh, in the recent times e buses electric buses are a new add on for uh, this sector and uh, definitely these buses will uh, reduce uh, the pollution a lot apart from this we have a large fleet of uh, diesel operated vehicles but by properly fine tuning the vehicles and also by properly educating the drivers you can reduce the pollution levels a lot it also it not only reduces the pollution but also the fuel efficiency and uh, reduction in consumption of the fuel they will reduce the burden on the corporation as well as also on the foreign exchange of the nation so this should be a continuous endeavor in this uh, sector and uh, the second thing is that safety is another uh, aspect where i myself personally involved in any public meeting where the main topic is uh, safety on the roads pollution in the environment we will share our experience so that uh, the society as a whole should have the uh, uniform knowledge and the uh, motto to excel in these fields for example uh, on one occasion uh, uh, i was uh, delivering a speech to a elite group of people uh, belonging to uh, lens club and most of them are car owners and uh, i asked a few questions about uh, road signals and uh, the right of the road these are the fundamentals and to my surprise uh, most of them they could not give the proper answer that means uh, most of the drivers personal car owners they do not even know the basics of the uh, road which is causing uh, which is the root cause 
for uh, this number of high rate of accidents in our country so everybody should uh, do their job uh, and as a society we have to concentrate on these uh, vital factors and the second uh, third thing is yeah uh, since i am working in a public sector people expect a lot uh, from the uh, employees of a public sector organization particularly uh, our attitude makes a lot of difference so any indifference towards uh, the customers while rendering the service will definitely attract the social media and uh, we are answerable for that so we are taking care of our uh, uh, behavioral aspects also rightly said mr venkateshwara so before we conclude our discussion on this subject i would like to ask you as an esg and corporate governance expert with prior bodum experience what values do you put forth uh corporate uh, governance is altogether a, a different uh, scenario and uh, because of the enactment of the companies uh, act 2013 the role of uh, independent directors it became uh, very significant to have a control over the corporate governance so mr jishan patan and uh, mr avesh mehta they took a good initiative and uh, created a platform of uh, world uh, directors forum so um, by taking an active part in the corporate life as an independent director will definitely uh, makes that we are all uh, discharge our uh, social uh, responsibility out of our vast experience and uh, commitment to the society definitely uh, we can uh, bring this uh, corporate world uh, uh, into a much uh, better place than what it is now definitely uh, okay so let's move ahead and let's talk uh, uh, on technology technological landscape since it has uh, become an integral part of our lives and uh, it is being severely affected by the automobile sector and everywhere else so what are some of the most remarkable changes you have seen in your field with changes in technology and what changes do you expect to see with the advent of iot ai ml blockchain uh, big data web 3.0 one thing is that uh, uh, technological advancements like uh, online reservations and also uh, ticket issuing machines uh, which are equipped with uh, epos uh, backup so they made the money transactions and uh, purchase of tickets uh, So very comfortably they can do it uh, online and also secondly uh, tracking of the vehicles and uh, knowing the exact arrival time and departure time they are also a key factors so because of the technological uh, innovations we are able to exactly tell uh, when our services will depart and when exactly they will uh, arrive at the destination so uh, this is a good improvement apart from this uh, operation of uh, e buses electric buses is also a great uh, development in this uh, transport sector because transport sector is essential uh, for the development of the society but the pollution and other factors uh, they are affecting this uh, climate so electric buses are the only solution and uh, now we are taking the proper steps for introduction of electric buses in the phased manner and also uh, in our organization we have a uh, universal ticketing solution that means apis rtc is offering not only passenger transport but all it is catering to goods transport also but whatever is the requirement of the customer uh, one uh, a small machine uts machine will uh, take care of all those things and uh, apart from this artificial intelligence and blockchain technology they are Uh, yet to have their entry into this field, and uh, I hope that definitely uh, they will uh, take this industry into a much uh, much higher levels. Okay, all right. So let's move ahead, and this brings us to the last question of the session. Here it is: We are building a community of industry magnets. The move is meant for cross pollination of knowledge and building a knowledge sharing community of corporate giants and industry experts. so what are your thoughts about these initiatives taken by mr zishan patan mr hebel mehta and the whole team of world development corporation 
Yeah, actually, uh, uh, this is the uh, main intention of uh, bringing in experts from the field because only finance, knowledge in finance alone cannot give good results. So uh, the persons who are willing to work as independent directors, they should have some functional knowledge about the industry where uh, they are appointed as a director. So for example, uh, my background as a transport expert, logistics expert, will definitely uh, add value to the board in which uh, I uh, get an opportunity to serve. Similarly, if somebody with uh, any other uh, core sectors like cement or steel or uh, power, so these experts, uh, they should learn the basics of uh, fundamentals of the financial management and they should uh, give render their vast knowledge uh, for the proper uh, organization of the companies. So definitely uh, this is a great move and I wish that uh, this will be a game changer. Great. Great, Mr. Vankateshwara. It was fantastic conversing with you and I'm confident that your insights will inspire future leaders. Thank you for joining us today. Wish you the best for your future endeavors. Moreover, trust that this initiative by Directors Institute has unquestionably expanded the participants' understanding and enriched their minds.